Why would you pull him out? 20 minutes ago. How long has he been in? Well, it's hard to tell once the body's been in the water for over an hour. Couldn't find an ID. We don't need an ID. You know it? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's Adam Fairfield. I was, uh, I was involved with his brother, Garrett. Of the Fairfields? Garrett. I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming. Detectives. I'm Robert Colburn, legal counsel for the Fairfield Estate. Thank you for coming so quickly. Of course. The family would like to cooperate in any way they can. Get me any questions you have in writing, and I will respond to them in 24 hours. That's not really how we operate. Well, I'm sure you can understand that the family Excuse is... me. I flew in for the Foundation Gala. I can't believe it's going to be Memorial now. Maura, this must be Garrett. I'm sorry, Mr. Fairfield. I was explaining to the detectives... That it's critical we get statements as quickly as possible. Isn't that right, Maura? Well, I'm sure the family will be more than happy to answer all of your questions as soon as they're ready. I don't even have a cause of death. You should just give them their space. I, I've, I've just never seen you hugging suspects before. We don't even know what happened here. If this was an accidental drowning, there are no suspects. So you're hoping it's an accident? Are you hoping it was a murder? I'm doing my job like I always do. Why don't you do yours? I am. And as the medical examiner, it is my job to determine the cause and the manner of death. So I'll tell you whether there's a case here or not. Summer and Adam, they fought a lot. So what are you saying? That, that Sumner had something to do with Adam's death? No. Fairfields would do a lot of things to each other, but brothers don't kill brothers. You're not married, are you? No. And I did it once around the hall. No scrapes, no finger marks, nothing docked with her at sea. Hey, man, I'm cool, all right? I can admit when I'm wrong. I call it an accident. I wish I could, but it wasn't an accident. Adam Fairfield was murdered. There's nothing on that boat that matches the impressions left on Adam's skull. So somebody planted the blood on the boom. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Wow. So the killer hides on Adam's boat. He waits until Adam is out to sea, hits him over the head with a weapon, and then throws the weapon and the body overboard. Yeah, but how does he or she get back to shore? Maybe a, a boat or a dinghy. Corsac said there was nothing docked against the boat. Why would Garrett be using cheap cashmere? Because he's broke. I called the suppliers. He's behind on everything. Uh, materials, warehousing, manufacturing, packaging. Guy hasn't paid a bill in months. Okay, that makes no sense. He inherited a fortune. Looks like he burned the wood all, and then some. Uh, just because his company is in trouble doesn't mean that he's a killer. I don't know. Maybe killing off your brother and inheriting the family empire, paying off your debt turns you into one. There's only one person I know who could have committed a murder one mile out at sea and still gotten back without a boat. A triathlete. More. You know, you said brothers don't kill brothers, but you knew that Adam had a different father, so in your mind that meant that he wasn't really your brother. <sighs> More. Come on. You know me. The murder weapon left a unique impression in Adam's skull. Like this one. Run test, Maura. You won't find anything on that. Because this one is new. The one that you used to kill your half-brothers at the bottom of the ocean. Step out of the pool. 